Hi, it's Gene, retired in Mexico. Welcome to the channel. And if you're new here, <clears throat> sorry, if you're new here, we only ask one question, which is, do they write them and sing them like they used to? So a lot of people, young, old, they think the old music is better, but I am not so sure. And today, I, I got a, this comment. I'm going to show it to you from a, a HOPA subscriber, Chris Holmes. And by the way, people are always saying, you should listen to this. You should check this out. You should, should, should. So I'll turn the table and say, Chris, if you're not subscribed, you should be subscribed. But uh, I encourage all of you to hit the like subscribe button because it helps a lot but anyway he told me that he he's he's from uh i guess birmingham alabama or lives somewhere around there and is a big jason molina fan and i, I you know I, the video we did of songs ohio has done really well it's gotten well over a thousand views and it continues to get 20 25 30 views a week and so I, I can tell it's going to uh, it, it's going to be one of the more popular videos over time. You know, it's got a slow tra uh, trajectory, if I can say that word. But those are the kinds of videos I like. I've got videos I've launched where they get a whole bunch of views all at once and then everything dies. And other videos that I've done, you know, just have a steady number of people that watch it over time. And I like that. I like that. It's uh, it means it's not the fanboy or fangirl element. It's just people coming in regularly. And so this is a long video, so I don't want to uh, waste any more time. But apparently he record. He said he recorded this. I don't know if he worked for the PBS station there that uh, broadcasts this. So anyway, I've not. I there's no song list on here, so I've not done the lyrics in advance. And this means I'm going to miss some of the lyrics and I won't be able to hear everything that Jason is singing about. Rest in peace, by the way. This is the Magnolia Electric Company, one of the bands that he formed. And I may do this as a two-parter, release it because it's so long, but let's, let's get into it. I'm looking forward to this live performance on public television. Chris, thanks so much for letting me know about this. Uh, I think it's going to be cool to watch some live video. Here we go. Um, I'm Jason Molina and uh, I write songs. The hand and down, maybe the truth. 
different every day. Um, you know, sometimes there's a song that took three hours or three weeks or three months of coming back, uh, not constant three months, but coming back to an idea and an idea. And sometimes there's a song that takes three minutes. So it's different every single day, although written within a formula. Or like I said, I, I set out parameters and try to stick to that. But sometimes I just, you know, I'll get stuck and rather than just give up I'll just write something in a totally different direction, and that becomes the, the song. Everything I worked up to till there just that goes out the window. Because you, you, I constantly have to edit while I'm doing it. I don't do the song and then come back to it tomorrow. When, when, I, when I feel like it's finished, it's, it's done for me. Then the next job is to maybe present it to the band, try to do an arrangement, you know, make some changes here and there if I, if I want. Um, but basically, I, I, I know when it's done. It's like popcorn. I just want to pause quickly because on that first song, the lyrics, man, those lyrics are way above average. The turkey feather and the hat and the chicory and everything he's singing about and the seams and, oh my God, he, is, he was such a great lyricist. Yeah, I'm really hooked on that. And then I like the genre bending. I mean, it kind of started out as kind of a, almost a country song, but then the drummer came in and the bass work was really good on that song. Let's keep going. This is uh, really good. And I can understand all the words. There are 90% of them. Organ. Talk to the 
all of the records, I, I have written them thematically. Um, and I think, I, I think there's been some, some successes in there. Um, but I, it's thematic across the entire spectrum of all the songs. So in, in my mind, although I don't remember a lot of the old songs, I, the, the, the actual, the, the raw elements of the songs and the, um, you know, the, 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 the symbology in them and the, um, this, this, the stories in them, it's one continuous thread. So if I could, if I could condense that to the most essential, um, I, I may be really happy with that. It may be something that's not not interesting to anyone else, but I, I don't really worry about that. I can't stop watching. I turned your life so upside down. I don't know how you stayed or why. Looking always over my shoulder. God, there's, there's, there must be thousands of songs. So, so we're going to stop it there because, uh, yeah, the whole thing is 27 minutes. So I'll release a, a part two probably later this week. But yeah, Josephine, good song. My grandmother's name. Yeah. Uh, you know, so here's what I'll say. He reminds me of, okay, you got a guy with a voice that I really like. Limited right? Not a classically great singer. Uh, but he's got these great songs, right? And you'd rather hear him sing them than somebody else most of the time. So it reminds me of someone like Towns Van Zant, who both was a, a highly revered performer, but a lot of people covered his songs too. Uh, you know, or if you want to jump to the modern era, Jason Isbell, 
I think, uh, you know, I'm reminded of him a little bit. If you uh, go out of gender a little bit, maybe a Lucinda Williams or somebody like that. So, yeah, I got these um, uh, different images. Um, a, a little, um, yeah, Townsend Zant's a good, a, a good example because he didn't have a, a perfect voice either, but you know the authenticity of him singing his own songs made up for everything. And yeah, I like these touches, just these subtle touches of Americana. But this isn't full blown Americana. Yeah, uh, he's just got his own unique vision here. It's really cool. So yeah, I think Jason B Isbell's a good comparison too. Um, although he's a pretty good singer, but uh, Jason Isbell's, uh, who I'm not a huge fan of, but uh, you know, I think of that too because the Drive By Truckers that he was in are from Birmingham, Alabama. So I'm probably making an association there. But he's uh, an above average lyric writer for sure. So, yeah, this is really good. Usually I don't rate uh, live performances. Um, they're a little bit harder to rate than, than studio tracks. But, yeah, this is top notch. Uh, I like the band. I like the bass player, the rhythm section. Um, yeah, yeah, very good. I think uh, we'll save the rest of this for a part two. -er. So, at part two, or part two. Tour. Is that a word? T W O hyphen E R, a tour, a twofer. Okay. Anyway, thanks for joining me on the channel. Again, hit that like or subscribe button. And as we say here in Bonita, Mexico, buen dia. And thank you again, Chris, for the suggestion.